Okay, now good morning, guys. You're welcome to the showbiz segment. And this morning, we are here with Chelsea, and she's a winner of Miss Universe Ghana. Congrats to you, Chelsea. Thank you so much. How does it feel to win? Win this? It's amazing. I don't even like. There are no words. It's just a completely mesmerizing experience. But overall, I have a lot to be grateful for. Yeah. Yeah. But how did you decide to join this or? to you know, get yourself into this because you're a working person, you're a yes. communications executive. Yes. And you know, usually people who work in communication or people working women don't really associate themselves with this. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why you, you try to you know, do this. To combine the yeah. two. Yeah, see, I really believe that people really need to debunk the notion in pageantry that women in pageants are just bobble-headed airheads, like long, gone are the days of just beauty like nowadays it's beauty plus brains equals the crown yeah and um i couldn't have a much better experience than this so far yeah yeah so how does it feel to be i know it's just it's been a just short time since you won but how mm. does it feel to be a queen during this era we have coronavirus and yeah. how are you going to be working and doing all the things you're supposed to do sure so my platform is autism in Ghana, I just want to delete the stigma that surrounds autism in Ghana because I was told that there are women in Ghana who actually drown their babies due to lack of knowledge and awareness on autism, confusing it for something else altogether. And um, I feel like it's time that that stops today. Okay. So I'm seeking to bring supportive services, education, speech pathologists to just heighten the awareness on it and increase the noise level. Okay, but this time it was a bit different from the other times that we had this pageant because you had, sure. the other girls had to compete. Yes. And then you did not have the chance to do that. Like yeah. you were chosen. Yes, I was interviewed and then appointed. Okay. Yeah, due to Corona, you always want to make sure that you have your safety in check. Yeah. And um, yeah, that was really what happened. Can you just run us through the process of, you know, before they got to, you know, choose you? Yeah, it was a long, it wasn't just one interview. It was a period of like one to 10. And it wasn't just me that they interviewed. They interviewed a lot of people. And, you know, they want to see how articulate you are, how well you can walk, how good you are in front of the camera. And all of that is a, de is a decision that they have to make, so. So why do you think you won? You know, talking I, to all these other ladies, why mm -hmm. do you think they chose you? Um, as my beautiful director, Miss Manet, said, I think I won because I have a heart of gold. Yes, you mentioned <laughs> that. Thank you. Yeah. And she and I, she's just amazing. So I just, I'm so grateful to her and to my family. Yeah, so you said yeah. you had a series of interviews and they interviewed other girls as well. Yeah. Did you see yourself? Did you feel that, okay, I think they're going to choose me? Did you think you were going to be chosen? Absolutely. But you see, we're all a queen in our own way, even when the crown isn't on our head. You always have a crown on your head, even when it's not there. So, you know, I just prayed to God. I talked to my family and I just kept it pushing. Yeah. I just, you know, you give it all or you give it nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you have the chance to meet any of these girls? That they no, it was individually. Individually. Yes. Okay. So um, <laughs> you guys met and then you, yeah, they walked you through the whole thing, the process. And can you tell us when this whole thing started? When did they start with the interview? Like the year? Was it this year? Yes, it was this year. Okay. So the announcement was made in March. Okay. Due to COVID, it was put on pause. But then as the summer picked up, it was brought back into the limelight and there was a lot of people who applied for the position. Okay. So, you know, for me to receive it, to all the girls who wanted it, I promised even in my speech that I would carry this position with dignity, class, honor, respect, um, but most of all, purity of spirit. Okay. So. It seems yeah. my mom, you want to ask something? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also wanted a, to be a queen sometime back oh. when I could. So oh. Please carry my passion with you. Please, I will. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you. Ah. You're a queen, though. Are you, are you waving already? Yeah. <laughs> okay, on behalf of Chelsea and Caddy, we thank you for watching our show. We'll see you tomorrow you. when I become Miss Universe. Oh. Hey. Bye. <laughs>